Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey guys, uh, yes, it is me. <laughs> I just finished up my, um, I just finished up my, uh, I need to turn off this music is what I need to do. <laughs> my apologies. I just uh, finished up my um, live stream I did for the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. If you haven't seen that yet, be sure to go check that out. I also just published an official unboxing video from your man, Jay Will. I know there's thousands of videos out there on the Galaxy Note 8 already. And I had to release mine. Of course, I had to, I had, you know I had to do mine. But this time I kept it super simple, man. I did like a, I did like a four minute video unboxing. I didn't, I didn't do a long video unboxing. I felt like I didn't, I didn't really need to. There are so many unboxing videos out there. I had to put one at least, I had to at least put it up on my channel because there's people that request that. Uh, and, you know, I had to do it. 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 I had to say it I had to say it one more time. I had to do it. But uh, thank you guys for, for joining me on this live podcast. I'll keep it short and sweet uh, because I do have to go. Uh, I did a giveaway during my last live stream, and I gave away Galaxy Note 8 cases uh, courtesy of Rinky. And they're good cases, too. Brand new. Those, those videos are also all live. So uh, I just dropped like four videos uh, all at once. Uh, so go check that out. The live stream was kind of... I knew I was going to live stream, but um, I just went on ahead and dropped the um, the three cases, the, the the cases from Poetic and Rinky, and the unboxing for the Galaxy Note 8. I'll have more hands-on time and, and extended videos with the Note 8 in the coming days. Uh, but for now, thank you guys. Hey, Chris is in the house, always here. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Chris was over in the live stream too. Uh, and you know, I was I was like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna stick to my guns. I'm gonna do my live podcast every Tuesday, no matter how tired I am. <laughs> What's up, Sean? All the regulars are popping up in here. I appreciate you guys. But um, in this podcast, I want to figure out who you really think you are. Forbes Tech, I see you guys. What's going on? Uh, yeah, putting in work, man. I, it's the the live stream. I, I I didn't plan on doing it until I realized. I said. I've got a lot of videos to put out, so I said, you know, I'll do an official unboxing of the Galaxy Note 8, but at the same time, I'll do a live stream uh, for everybody so they can ask me questions. And that was, was a really fun live stream. If you haven't seen the live stream, it's on my YouTube channel, so go check that out. There was a lot of big names up in there. Um, you know, it's a lot of people there, and a lot of people sh- showing love for the, uh, the Galaxy Note 8. But in this podcast, this is Tuesday's podcast. It is Tuesday, right? Yeah, it is Tuesday. It's Tuesday, September 5th. 2017, man, I can't keep up with all of these, you know, I have so much stuff going on, um, but it's uh, September 5th, 2015, uh, 2017, September 5th, 2017, let's get that right, who are we really in this tech world, now I am a tech reviewer, and Forbes Tech is a tech reviewer, uh, Sean and Chris that are just happen to be in the live stream, I don't believe they're tech reviewers, but they're heavy tech people, I know they are, so that's why I posed the question, who are you really? Who do you think you are and who you really, who are you actually? You know, some people might say I'm not a techie and I'm just an average consumer, but you're probably a techie deep down inside and you just haven't accepted it yet. That might be what it is. That might be what it is. That might be that you're a techie, you just don't know you're a techie. So in this podcast, I want to try to distinguish and separate who techies really are and who average consumers really are. Because this is a big misconception that some people think that they're actually not a techie when they actually are. They're really a techie deep down inside. They just don't know that they're a techie. So some things that I say that, that make people, that I, I label people techies, uh, there's a few things. There's a few things that I think you'll be labeled a techie, especially if you think you're not. Um, here, here's one. Here's a, here's a real obvious one. Now, this might not seem like it's very obvious, but to me... It is obvious. Anybody who has um, about five phones, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, hey, what's going on, Marcus? I see you. I had to catch your podcast. First time. Oh, first time in the podcast. You saw the note stream was dope. Okay, I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, Tuesday night podcast is where I am every Tuesday evening. So I normally wouldn't do a live stream on the day that I'm doing a podcast, but sorry, I had to drop that one. Uh, but, um, you know, People might think that they're not techies, but I think a lot of people are techies and they just don't know it. They don't know that they're a techie, but they really are techies. 
And so some things, one of the more obvious ones that I think uh, what, what I would consider a person to be a techie, and they might say that they're not a techie, is you've got like five to ten phones. And I'm not talking about, if, if you have at least three phones right now, at least three, and they're all current model phones, you're probably a techie. You can deny it, but you're probably a techie. And that's just one. That's just one. If you have three of the current model phones, you're probably a techie. Probably. I don't know why you would think that you wouldn't be, but if you have the latest and greatest smartphones within the last six months to a year, you're probably a techie. If you look on your desk and you've got two or three phones that just came out within the last six to 12 months, you're probably a techie. You might be in denial too if you say you're not. That's just one of the characteristics, I think, of a techie. A lot of techies um, are not in denial, but they seem to think that they're not techies. I think you are a techie. If you've got three, if you've got at least three phones, and they're within the last six months or so, and they all work, and there's absolutely you just bought them because, probably a techie. Probably a techie. Probably a techie. Yes. You can disagree if you want to. But I think you're probably a techie. Especially if you say, no, no, I have bought her because you're a techie. Start to face it. Come to reality. You're a techie. Now, another characteristic that I say. You're in every form. You're in every form. You, <laughs> you know about XDA. You know about Android Authority. And I know there's somebody listening to this saying, well, I mean, I know about him, but I don't think I'm a techie. Sure you are. The average consumer has no clue what Android Authority, Android Central, Droid Life, they don't know what those things are. They have no clue. So if you're on those sites, you're probably a techie. Don't be in denial much longer. So if you got a separate, if you got a bunch of phones that are all within the current current year or current release yeah you're on android authority or on android central or you're on droid life you're on all these different websites searching scouring probably a techie probably a techie and that's just a couple of them i got more if you get into arguments in comments over your smartphone. Probably a techie. Probably a techie. The average consumer will not argue over their smartphone, especially not in a forum setting. YouTube comments, they just won't do it more than likely. They probably won't do it. They probably don't even care. They're probably like, I don't care about the specs. It takes pictures. That's it. It does what I need it to do. <laughs> The average consumer probably is not arguing over their phone in the comments of YouTube videos or in blogs and forums. They're not doing it. So, if you got a bunch of phones, if you know who Droid Life is, Android Authority, XDA, you're arguing over your phone in the comments, you're probably a techie. And you just don't know it. The average consumer, here's another one. The average consumer has no clue what the processor is in their phone. I mean, when I say average, I mean average consumer. All they know is that it's pretty, that most of them say, oh, it's pretty. They say that it's pretty. And they they say it takes great pictures. The screen is pretty. It's the average consumer talk. Um, I would say my phone screen is gorgeous or, or beautiful or something like that. Uh, this is a matter of wording. It's, there's no right or wrong answer. However, the average consumer, if you ask them, what's the processor in that phone? They're going to look at you and say, huh? 
they might call us something like, oh, the gigabytes. You're like, no, 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 what's the process? What's the, <laughs> they, they might call us something like that. They're like, no, the gigabytes, you know, no, 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 not gigabytes. What's the, what's the processing speed of that phone? And they're like, huh? That's how you know that you're a techie. You're a techie if you know what processor's in your phone. The screen is pretty, yeah. Um, you're a techie if you know what, in, in this live stream, I bet you all of you guys know what processor is in your phone. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> here's, a, here's a comment that you guys can't see from Marcus Lacey. He's in the live, live chat uh, for the podcast right now. For those that are on the replay crew, you can't see this. He said, of course I'm a techie. I'm in your live podcast. <laughs> but see, you don't have to be a techie to be here. You don't have to be. You could just be a person who's interested in technology. But if you're in my live stream, you're right. You're probably a techie. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. How do you guys think I label myself? What do you guys think I think I am? What do you guys think I think I am? I'll tell you what I am. I'm not going to keep it a secret. I'll tell you what I am. I am a techie who's for the average consumer. So I try to review lots of different price range in phones. And I try to review tech that's very affordable uh, because that's the right thing to do. I don't want to tell a customer or tell a regular individual, when I say regular, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't mean any insult by that. I mean, a person who I know is not very knowledgeable, I'm not going to tell them to go out and spend a thousand bucks on a phone. I'm going to say, hey, you know, I know this might be a little bit of work for you, but there's a phone called the Moto E4, or there's a phone called the ZTE this or ZTE that. You should check that out. I'm going to probably try to convince them to buy the lesser of the two. and Because there's a lot of things out there, there are phones out there that cost no money, but they perform extremely well for the average consumer. That's just the way it is. A lot of tech sites, and I'm not taking shots at tech sites, but let's just be real here. A lot of tech sites will tell a, a person that they should buy the Galaxy S8, the iPhone, they'll tell them to buy that. And I'm going to say, probably shouldn't. You know, that shouldn't be your first choice. You know, try to find something a little bit more affordable and find out what your tech needs are. You're just going to be checking email. You're just going to be on Instagram. What are you going to be doing? Most consumers, that's their life right now. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All ages now, man. It doesn't matter what the age is. Most of them, social media. Like, I remember when texting was a young person's thing. Now texting is everyone's thing. Even I've picked up the phone and text while I drove. I, you, I'm not supposed to be doing that. But it's just one of those things that it's hard to shake it. You feel like that email just has to go out or you feel like you got to respond to that text message. You just feel like you have to. And it's a mistake. So don't text and drive. However... I think that the average consumer, we can clearly see them, but they really can't see us. You think they see um, what they see on the internet, on YouTube and things like that. They'll see the bigger name people. And they're not, again, I'm not taking shots or anything, but the, their perception of what a techie is, uh, they might just say, oh, this person knows a lot about technology. But a techie can always also be a person who's for the average consumer, which is, I consider myself to be kind of borderline because I'm definitely for the average consumer. Um, but I'm also reviewing high-end phones too. Uh, like I just gave you the Galaxy Note 8, you know. Um, I'm reviewing all these different phones because I have a, I have a mixed crowd. I have a, a, a really great balance uh, in my channel. And I think that's a good thing because... I don't know if you guys remember, I used to review a lot, a lot of pocket-friendly phones, budget phones, I should say. I used to review a lot of them. And those were actually, yeah, you know, I was doing pretty good uh, with that. A strong following, you know, but eventually 
I started to get interested in phones that cost a heck of a lot more. And so I decided, okay, okay, I'm just going to start buying these things myself because the person in this review, they said it was crap and I actually like it, you know? So it's what it is, you know, I have to start, I, did, I disagreed with a lot of the things that they were, they were saying and I wanted to find out for myself. You know, Let's see what the comment says is, can you be both a techie and an average consumer? Definitely. Because uh, I, I say I'm a techie for the average consumer, but I still think I'm an average consumer. And some people say, no, Jay, you got you got like 60 phones over there. You're right. I do. <laughs> I do. However, I'm not pushing people to buy these expensive phones. And I would tell a person, like I said before, hey, you probably could get the same kind of usage out of this phone, you know, and I would show them something that costs a little bit less. A lot of techies, a lot of uh, tech blogs and stuff might not do that. They might not do it. They might just tell you, okay, yeah, this is the best and this is what you need to buy. I know you guys have seen that before. Apologize if you hear some beeping. That's my smartphone. That's my Galaxy Note 8. That's what it is. Now, uh, but a lot of techies out there won't tell a person about... They'll talk about the the phones that you actually should be recommending. They'll talk down on those and say, well, the processor isn't that good. I wouldn't really recommend this phone. But they're, they don't really care about the average consumer, I think. I say that, you know, respectfully... I don't think a lot of the huge blogs actually care about the, the average consumer because haven't you guys seen a big, big, big name blog say that a phone is bad, like the, the Moto Z2 Play or the Moto Z Play? Have, remember when that phone first hit? A lot of these big blogs were saying, oh, I'd avoid it. It doesn't perform well and stuff like that. And we're like, huh? This phone is fantastic. Right? A lot of us were like, man, the build quality is fantastic on here. At least I know I was. I think a lot of us were. We were shocked at how great that phone was. I was. <laughs> I put out like 100 videos on him. Also, phones like the uh, the ZTE devices. People say, oh, Jay, you know, you was paid to say that. No, no, I wasn't. I actually really like this stuff. I recommend the current Z Max over several phones. I mean, there are phones out there that I have a phone. I have a phone that um, has an IR blaster, and several of the phones that we have that we paid like a ton more don't have an IR blaster. The Figo uh, Figo Gravity, I think it's called, pronounced. It has an IR blaster. A lot of phones today don't have an IR blaster. And some people want an IR blaster. Now, I personally do not need to have an IR blaster. That's not my thing. But some people want it. They want an IR blaster. Shedding my blinds, guys. Shedding my blinds. Getting some light. But some people might want an IR blaster, and I don't require an IR blaster. Certain small things like that, I've seen some tech blogs... Tell people not to buy something because it doesn't have this or not to buy it because it doesn't have. But the, I guess the thing is, I shouldn't say they don't care about the average consumer because who are they actually writing for? They're not writing for the average consumer as far as I see it. They're writing for other techies. So is that a fair statement? Yeah, I think that I think that might be what it is. Maybe I'm wrong and I'm thinking about it wrong and I'm looking at it wrong, but maybe these big tech blogs are not... Uh, actually writing for the average consumer. Maybe that's where I got it wrong. Why are these companies getting rid of the IR blasters? I love them. If you, uh, that's uh, that's uh, Marcus Lacey. Yeah, I know. A lot of people um, uh, are require an IR blaster. and Some people like an IR blaster. I don't require a lot of things. I don't require waterproofing. I don't require fast charging. I don't require, I don't require a, a lot of stuff, man. I just want a phone that's actually going to work. This is what it is. You know? So, some, some, I think a lot of people can't differentiate if they are a techie or not, but like, I think you could be both, because I actually consider myself to be both. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I could also be viewed as this. 
I'm a I'm a tech I'm a techie that's trying to look out for the average consumer, and I'm the average consumer that's enjoying the life of a techie because in reality I would never spend all this money on these phones if I wasn't doing tech reviews. I would have one phone and it would probably be like a BlackBerry or or you know just a Galaxy Note. Just it would just be one phone and I would keep that phone until it broke. I would keep it until it broke down, man. And then I probably would just get the same phone again or the newer model of that phone because that's why a lot of iPhone users are comfortable because they upgrade every year because they're comfortable. They know what they're pretty much getting into. But iPhone users, you're, kind of, you're getting the same software this year, but you're in for a treat this year. You, get, <laughs> you are in for a treat. Yes, you are. Yep, you are in for a treat. You are. You've got something coming that's different. <laughs> yes, you are. You got a, a big surprise coming. But you know, um, techies um, have some. Not all techies. Not all techies. Not all techies. Some techies. Um, some techies are full force techie. Full force techie. Like they don't care to in, engage about anything else unless it's a, uh, a, a high end or, you know, when I'm talking about smartphones, I'm running smartphoneconversations.com. So I'm mainly focused on smartphones at this moment. But a techie, if most of them are not interested in phones that don't have the latest processors, you know? They they're just not interested in it. So, what do you what do you do with someone like that? You know, you're gonna end up arguing in the comments with them, or arguing on their stream, or something. You know, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna um, this will be a, this will be a short podcast because I haven't had dinner yet and I have to go to the gym. But I appreciate you guys. I will have a longer, more in depth podcast next uh, next week, next Tuesday. Uh, I will be doing. Um, uh, and thank you guys who, who are always making it in regularly, man. I really appreciate it. When I hit 50,000 subs, I will be giving away smartphones, Bluetooth speakers, a uh, bunch of different stuff. I'm going to be giving away some things to some loyal subscribers. And um, I said it before, I'm not just going to give away the, the goodies to the random people. I'm going to give it away to people that I know are regulars. I know there are people who are loyally subscribed to me uh, because this is a big deal. You know, I'm, I'm giving away some pretty expensive things and I don't want to give it to people who are I don't know, or just gonna randomly sell it. I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm being upfront about it. I'm not gonna give a random giveaway for four smartphones. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna pick the people who I see and know by name. You know, I know these people. They chat with me. You know, in the streams or whatever. You know, it's just gonna be one of those situations. But when I hit fifty thousand subs, right now I'm at like forty nine thousand six hundred, I think, or something like that. I'm not really. I don't know. Uh, and there's nothing significant about fifty thousand. I just was looking at my, I was looking at my count. And I was like, whoa, I'm I'm getting up there. So I'm about uh five four hundred and seventy away. Looks like so. I'll get there, and when I get there, I'll just go ahead and go on to fifty one thousand and on to a hundred thousand. I guess I don't know. I'm still having fun though. So once this turns into work, I'm done. I'm stopping. And I'm gonna start doing something else. So anyway, it's Tuesday night podcast. It's your man Jay Will. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to drop off some uh, Galaxy Note 8 cases that I gave away in the live stream. If you haven't seen that live stream, go ahead and hit that link over on my YouTube channel. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube and the replay crew, shout out to you. Uh, and uh, check out some Galaxy Note 8 coverage. I will see you guys in the next podcast next Tuesday. I promise I'll be on time. Take care, guys. Shout out to all the regulars, too, man. You guys are awesome.